All right, guys, today we're gonna talk about the Fiel Raven Vita Pro pants and why I still think they are some of the best outdoor bushcraft survival adventure pants that you can buy to this day. And I know they're not new by any means, and I've done a video a few years back when I got my first couple pairs of them, and I went over why I liked them, why I thought they were good, and why I thought like they were pretty much the way for bushcrafting especially but you know survival wilderness living and all such things so today i'm going to go over break down my not my quite same pair even though i still do have those ones they're a little bit in use and tattered condition but i'm going to go over these two pairs here and talk about why i still think that these pants absolutely rock so without any further ado guys let's jump right, right guys. so pardon these shadows this isn't always the best lighting but today like i said we're going to talk about the Fiel Raven Vita Pro pants. Now I have both sets here or I guess both types and the Vita Pros come in either vented or non-vented versions. So this one the black and gray for this particular model is vented. The blue and black is non-vented. Now of course both of these pants come in the same colors like vented and non-vented come in the same colors. Of course there's also other colors as you guys can see here. These are my gray and tan ones. Um, my originals were full brown they come in a whole bunch of different colors i just like choosing colors that i personally like and or ones that are conducive to my environment especially like these gray and tan ones are really conducive to the color schemes of alaska as a whole so anyways they do come in a bunch of colors which is pretty cool but we're gonna first go over the vented pants and go over what i think about these and why i like them so much and these if i had to recommend like because these are not cheap pants if i could only recommend one very variant or version of these pants it would have to be the vented version and also to be clear these are really more of a summer pant uh, because they're not particularly thick they're not particularly overbuilt for winter in the winter usually here if I'm going out like doing expeditions and stuff I will usually use you know like snow pants slash um Carhartt makes like flannel lined pants that are really thick, really heavy duty and very warm. So I'll use stuff like that. That's a lot thicker, heavier duty for winter specifically, but for summer, both of these pants are absolutely incredible. So first off, why do I like the vented pants so much? So it actually has very little to do with the fact that they have vents, but they do have vents here. As you guys can see, these vents just allow you to physically open up the pants so that your thighs can breathe. If you are a sweaty typed person, myself, I'm not particularly sweaty, but um, that is an option. But what I like the most about these pants is twofold. So first off, this crotch area, and I'm very surprised more companies don't do this, but this whole crotch area, as you guys can see, is made out of a form of spandex material. And this spandex material makes super, super stretchy, um, makes this uh, crotch area super, super stretchy. And what that means is when you do things like, let's say rock climbing or any type of movement where once again, like even putting my leg up here, you know, there's a lot of bending in this area. This stretchy fabric is not limited in its degree of travel or articulation. Now, I will say the non-vented versions are well articulated around the crotch area. So they still do have a good amount of stretch, but these obviously being a stretch material have infinitely more stretch and so if you are actually you know doing more dynamic movements or if you're crouching bending over this is going to allow a lot more freedom than those pants so this is probably one of my favorite parts about the Vita Pro pants is this whole area and it's pretty generous as you guys can see it goes down to right around the knee like this is I would say like mid knee area you still have some stretch fabric or material there so it allows you a really great deal of uh, range of motion so that's probably my favorite thing about these now my second favorite thing and something that once again it blows my mind that more especially outdoor companies like Fiel Raven like Carhartt like um 511 all of these uh, companies that you know make pants for adventurers or outdoorsmen these come with this really cool pocket right here you guys can see and unfortunately i don't have any of my smaller fixed blades to showcase this but you guys have probably seen this on many of my outdoor you know adventure videos i will almost always have some form of whether it's the condor pterosaur the mora um, kunzbul the mora clipper mora bushcraft black um this thing this little pocket right here is specifically 
specifically designed to hold the sheaths of fixed blade knives and where it is positioned. And so I guess physically on me, I guess I'll rotate this camera real quick. Hopefully you guys can kind of see where this is located on me. Like this is where it sits on a person in real time. So this is a really ergonomic position. Like say you have a knife right here, very ergonomic to say like you want to skin a game animal, you reach for your knife, you pull it out, you do whatever cutting you need to do, and then you can just put it back. So it puts it, you know, in the fairly like lower kind of almost drop leg area of the pant. And that's what I really, really dig about this particular pocket is that it gives you this kind of um, area where you can, let me readjust this camera, uh, where you can ultimately put knives. And like I said, oftentimes like the condor pterosaur you have to modify the sheath sheath lightly to get it to fit in here you have to make the sheath a little bit bigger but you can modify a lot of sheaths i've even put as large a knife as the tops bushcraft or sorry tops fieldcraft by brothers of bushcraft in this uh, pocket as well so you're pretty uh, open to the amount of knives you can put in this and if you want to either run a primary knife here or a secondary knife it's really really cool to have this uh, pocket that's dedicated to knives in addition to you also have this little loop up here it's not the largest but it doesn't really need to be and this is where you can put all kinds of things really it's just a loop to hang things off of but this is usually where i will put my hatchet so what's really cool about the um, vented versions is you have a pocket for your knife, you have a loop for your hatchet, and that's really pretty cool. And then you look over here to this larger pocket. So I guess with when it comes to the cargo pants of this, you have like your smaller cargo pant here, but then you have this larger dual cargo pant over here. So there's a smaller pocket right in here, but then you have going back to here, this very long pocket. You guys can see here, it's pretty long, pretty deep, and you can throw a lot of things in here. Um, personally, what I will usually do with my vented pants is once again, I'll throw a knife in this pocket, my hatchet on that loop, and then I will throw one of my folding saws in here. So so the Gomboy, the 210 Gomboy by Fiel, or <laughs> by Silky will fit in this pocket perfectly. And so, yeah, that alone just means that as far as your pockets go for these pants, you can carry your knife, your hatchet, and your saw just on your pants. So that's something that for me, you know, it's not a deal or it's not something that would make or break my decision to buy pants but when you look at these pants and the functionality that they offer like it's really cool um it's really uh pretty neat that you know like i wouldn't even need a pack a pouch or like a backpack to carry all of those three essential um, items for the wilderness so that is something that i really 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 dig about these pants is that they have tons of function in them all right, so now let's talk about the original Vita Pro. So these are the non-vented versions. Once again, the non-vented versions uh, obviously don't have any zippers on the side for breathability. The other thing that they don't have is the crotch is gusseted on these. And as you guys can see, like I said, there are a good amount of cuts in here to allow for bending. Even at the knees, um, you'll notice that there are multiple cuts in the kind of like knee fabric here to allow for some extra bending. So these do allow for a good deal of flexibility. They're not inflexible but they definitely don't allow for as much movement physically as the vented versions do. So that is kind of their one drawback. In addition to, you'll notice that on the non-vented versions, there is no pocket up here. So that other pocket would have been, you know, like around here, um, sorry, around here. So you guys can actually see that is not here. Now it has been replaced by, um, or I should also note too, there's no um, like loop up here. You guys will see there's no hatchet loop up there. So what they did with the original, um, Vita Pros is they give you this pocket right here, which is kind of hard to see trying to get a good angle on it. But this little pocket right here is specifically designed. I guess you could put, you know, a multitude of things in here because it is fairly neat. Um, it opens on both sides, but what its original design was is that you can use it as a general purpose pocket 
or if you have a hatchet, once again, like the GBA wildlife hatchet, you can pop this button at the bottom. And what will happen is you slide your hatchet into here and it'll come through the end of this side of the pocket. Sorry, these ones have not been used terribly much, but on my more broken inversions, this works a lot better. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so you slip the handle of your ax or hatchet through here and then it feeds through this little part. And trust me, this does actually work pretty well. It's not my favorite system in the world, but it does work well and it does like it is functional so this does have a dedicated um, axe or hatchet um, kind of like pocket if you will and then the nice flip side to this is that this is or can be an openable pocket you know you can flow through or you can leave this button closed and it will come over the top like this so if you did want to put a knife in here if you did want to put anything in here without it passing through or falling through you could also do that as well so there's a little bit of functionality there now as far as everything else on the pants go um, it's pretty much the same you have that same dual layered um, double pocket or double cargo pocket here with the smaller pocket than the larger pocket of course it will once again still hold a folding saw like a silky gomboy 210 um, that works perfectly fine and once again everything else is pretty much the same outside of the lack of that kind of elasticated um, crotch area and then that knife pocket and such so these guys are once again still really good pants um, i have no issues with them as far as like actual durability goes like within reason in my opinion i found fiel ravens to hold up pretty darn well i like that the g1000 material is um, for the most part pretty durable and it's also very easily treatable with either their Greenland wax or you can use a number of substitutes um, to the Greenland wax that basically provides you some degree of waterproofing if that's what you need and or want. So they are pretty versatile in that regard, um, which is. So anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this uh, kind of more thorough breakdown and look at the Fiel Raven Vita Pro pants. These still, like I said, as you guys can currently see, I am wearing them. You know, these are my go-to pants that I wear pretty much every day, um, you know, some color or sort of them. I have multiple um, sets, you know, I have like greens, browns, tans, blues. I have a whole bunch of different colors in these. And I will say from all the pants I've tested, both from Fiel Raven and from other companies, these still are my favorite. Once again, durability is probably about the only thing I dislike because the material is kind of thin on them. So it's a durable material like the G1000 is not going to rip easily um, or tear easily. And once again, I still have my original pair that I've had for like two and a half years and they're still mostly going strong. Like there's a few holes in a few pockets and stuff, but for the most part, they're still going strong, doing well. Um, I will say this, I do have a pair of Keb trousers and they have not been as durable. So I definitely um, don't love the Kebs as much uh, for those who are wondering because oftentimes when you look at Fiel Rave and you look at Vita Pros and Keb trousers and the Kebs just uh, they're not as durable. I've taken them up uh, like I've hiked up mountains with the Kebs and they're just uh, not terribly abrasion resistant so they did get torn a little bit um, so I definitely am not as large a fan as the of the Keb trousers they're also more expensive and like I, said, I just feel like for the additional price unless they specifically have like the Kebs are primarily that stretch material that we talked about on these guys they're basically the trousers made up of that stretch material so they are super stretchy super um good for like a high range of mo um, movement but honestly like these vita pros are a lot more durable and offer functionally in my opinion the same amount of um, movement so anyways if i was if it came down to like one or another pair i would just like go with vita pros and preferably vita pro vented if i had to i, I also will note um, i have paid full price for some of my v uh, vita pros obviously i'm not sponsored by fiel raven unfortunately but I will say, um, like I said in my original video, to those who are still watching, um, you can often find, especially colors that may be less 
in or less desirable, you can oftentimes find uh, Vita Pro, both vented and non-vented, for really good prices. I would also recommend looking at different sizes because I own, like, um, these two are in, I think, like 46, which is like my technical size, but um, oftentimes there's a very small difference between like a 46, a 48, and a 44. So oftentimes what I'll do like on Amazon is I'll go and I'll look at 44s, 48s, 46s, and you can sometimes find really good deals on a pair of pants that's, you know, either a size below what you'd normally wear or a size above. And once again, functionally speaking, there's not really too much difference between a size up or a size down in these guys. So if you can find some good deals on, you know, slightly larger, slightly smaller uh, sizes, I would say go for it. Um, and so, yeah, and I definitely own like 48s, 44s, and mostly 46s, but yeah. So just do what you can to find good deals because I will say these things can be a little bit spendy. Their normal MSRP is like $175. So they're not always the cheapest pants, but I will say even if you do end up paying full price, they are pretty rugged and reliable performers. Anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. As always, God bless and I'm out.